Hi, I'm Emma from Pet Plan. I'm here today with Brian Faulkner. Brian, we're talking about respiratory problems that may occur in rabbits. Can you tell us what are respiratory problems? Well, respiratory problems are quite common in rabbits and the respiratory system, the lungs and the airways, obviously help us breathe and get oxygen into our blood. And what happens in rabbits is the condition called snuffles, which is caused by an infection. And it's a bit like a pneumonia. If we suspect our rabbit has a respiratory condition, what are the symptoms that we need to look out for as owners? Like most rabbit conditions, they can start with very vague symptoms. The rabbit may not just be doing what it normally does. It may be sitting quietly, it may not be eating, it may not be playing as much. The owners may notice that the respiratory rate, the breathing rate, is faster. So if you look at Bobby here, the breathing, the breathing rate is quite fast, it's quite shallow, and that may be a symptom. When they come into us, and I suggest that people do bring their rabbits in quite urgently with this, I have a little listen to the lungs. And what I'm normally listening for in rabbit lungs are quite quiet. You hardly hear anything, sort of gentle breathing sounds. But we'll have a listen to Bobby. And just confirming that the respiratory rate is faster, it's quite shallow, and there's quite a crackling sound coming through on the stethoscope. So we can hear, and that's actually the fluid in the airways being dragged through the air, it's being dragged through them, which causes that crackling sound. So if we suspect that our rabbit could have a respiratory problem, what are the treatment options available? Well, it is an infection and it's caused by a bacteria called Pasteurella. So that's what we're attacking. We're using antibiotics here. And the antibiotics we have in rabbits are quite good. Rabbits are quite unusual species with antibiotics. You can't give them penicillin. Penicillin will actually kill them. So we have specific antibiotics that we use. And on the main, this is a very treatable condition, but it does need relatively aggressive antibiotic therapy, as well as TLC, sometimes syringing food if they're not feeling up to it, to get them through the condition. How successful is this treatment? If you're providing it, can we see our rabbits recover? It is a very serious condition, but generally successfully treated. Okay. Normally, a course of antibiotics will do the job. Sometimes, like in people with chronic asthmatic chest, we do have a recurrent condition, and some rabbits will be prone to getting it again and again. So we have to be aware of that. But generally, treating each pouch, a bit, a bit like people with asthma who get chest infections, we can normally get the rabbits back to normal, enjoy a normal life.